Do you ever get really nervous maybe before you meet somebody or before you go to a job interview or something like that? If so, you're gonna love this video. I'm Nick, welcome to All Our Questions where I search the internet for questions that we all want answers to and I answer them. Today's question is, why do we get nervous? We're gonna find out and we're starting right now. The feeling of nervousness is a natural human response to what our brains perceive to be a threat. Nervousness and anxiety are primal instincts that helped us survive back in our hunter-gatherer days. I mean, you remember those days, don't you? Ah, the good times. Biologically, our nerves put us on alert and they force us to prepare for danger. It's a precursor to the fight or flight response that happens when we know that we're in danger. Scientists think that getting nervous helped us survive when we knew a task was dangerous so that we would be cautious. For example, if we're hunting for food in a lion infested savanna. In this case, your body would respond by releasing norepinephrine and cortisol, which would raise your heart rate and it allows more air slash oxygen to come into your lungs. Blood would get diverted from your stomach to your muscles and your blood pressure would rise, which would give you the feelings of butterflies in your stomach. All of these physical responses, when you put them together, give your body greater strength, perception, awareness, and in general, they prepare your body to either fight or to run for your life. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That'll help other nervous people find this video in the future. The fear of death creates the most intense nervous reactions in our bodies because it's driven by our primal instinct to survive. But on the flip side of that coin, we don't only feel nervous when we think that we could be in danger of dying. For example, why do we feel nervous about going on a first date? Or why do we feel nervous about meeting a new group of people? Why do nerves sometimes paralyze us even in non-life-threatening situations? The answer to this question, oddly enough, lies in the human desire to be accepted by our peers. I mean, it's evolutionarily advantageous to have other people like you. I mean, let's say back in the day, you're just trying to survive and you run into a group of people and they don't like you. Guess what? You're not getting any of their food. They're not gonna let you into their shelter. And if you get in a fight or some animal attacks you, guess who's not gonna get your back? Because of this possibility or fear of rejection, our body reacts the same exact way as it does if we're actually in danger. Real quick, down in the comments below, let me know some things that make you nervous or some things that you do to help combat your nervousness. Me, I meditate. Whether it's genetic or psychological, nervousness can really interfere with our daily lives and it can cause us to miss our goals and to screw up our lives in general. But thankfully, there are things that you can do to keep your nervousness under control. One of the simplest things that you can do to reduce nervousness, as simple as it is, is to take a deep breath. By taking deep, slow breaths, you can actually trick your body into coming out of the fight or flight response and back into a more relaxed state. So next time you feel those butterflies in your stomach, take several four to 10 second long deep breaths and you're gonna feel those butterflies start to fly away. Another thing that you can do, and this one is even more simple, is just to make a mental note and remind yourself that you're not gonna die. In modern society, our lives are so easy these days that we get nervous over things that are definitely not a life-threatening situation. For example, giving a speech and going to a job interview, both very nerve wracking situations, but you're not gonna die. They're not dangerous if you completely mess up. Let's say you stand up on the stage and you forget everything. The crowd's not gonna kill you. So by telling yourself and reinforcing to yourself that you're not actually in danger is gonna help lower that precursor to your flight or fight response. To help reinforce this, you can try asking yourself some really basic questions. Will your life be ruined if you fail? Is anybody likely to remember this if it doesn't go well? What exactly is the worst thing that could possibly happen at this event and what would the effects be of that happening? If you can answer questions like that when you're nervous, which I'm sure you can, then you're gonna process all of that logically and it's gonna help calm you down a little bit. Keeping your brain busy so that you don't overthink the situation is also gonna help because if you keep your brain busy, then it's not gonna be able to go through all of those disaster scenarios that you're making up in your head to help make you nervous in the first place. Another thing that you can do is to be prepared for the situation that you're nervous about. Psychologically, this is huge. For example, let's say that you're nervous about a meeting that's coming up because you have to present to a bunch of your peers. Well, if you are completely prepared for that situation, you're not gonna be as nervous about it. I mean, you're probably gonna be a little bit nervous depending on how often it is that you speak in front of people, but overall, you're gonna massively reduce your nervousness because you're going to know that you're prepared for the situation and that you know the ins and outs of what it is that you're doing. Don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what makes you nervous or some things that you do to combat your nervousness. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere on this page so you can get more answers to all our questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.